Today, a short video on how you can use the Godox X2 trigger to trigger non-Godox speed lights. Let me show you a small hack that you can use so that you can trigger non-Godox flashes with this uh, Godox unit. You can get these flash triggers. These are called transceivers and these particular ones are for Yang Nuo and they are built for Canon and what you do with this is you would normally put one of them on top of your camera like this and then you have the other one on your flash unit so the one on your camera now acts as your transmitter and the one on your flash unit acts as your receiver when you take a photo they communicate so here's the hack on your Godox X2T there's a hot shoe on top of the Godox if I place this on top of the Godox X2T and you can see this is a young new flash when I test the trigger so my trigger, my Godox trigger, is sending a signal to my Yang Nu transceiver. The transceiver is sending a signal to the second one, which is acting as a receiver. So I'm able to trigger a Yang Nu flash using a Godox trigger. The only thing is you cannot control the power settings of this flash unit. I can buy many of these transceivers, so I can trigger as many flash units as I want using this uh, Godox. And then I can also set up other flashes using the groups for this Godox to trigger wirelessly. The speed light on which this uh, receiver is connected doesn't even have to have any wireless capability. So I can use this on a really old speed light like this ProMaster, which has a single pin at the bottom. So when I connect this to the speed light, turn the speed light on, and then I test it. See the, it triggers the speed light. With this simple hack, I can trigger all these lights. Those that are not Godox brands, I will trigger them using the transceivers on top of my X2T. And then the Godox, I would just set this to the wireless mode and make sure it's set up on the X2T to be triggered by the X2T and when I test all the lights fire. You can actually get old speed lights very cheaply as long as they have the single pin and be able to use them in a multi speed light setup. So that's a small hack that you can use. These are relatively inexpensive. Maybe you already have different brands of speed lights or you are borrowing from someone and you need to be able to trigger them using your Godox trigger. That's a hack that you can use. Just get these relatively inexpensive transceivers, use them on your Godox trigger and you're able to trigger any brand of flash. There you go, a simple and relatively inexpensive way to trigger non-Godox speed lights with your X2T. Thanks for watching, see you next time on Tech Booth.